Hi everyone, my name is Emily Migra and I am the co-founder and CEO of Beaker Distillery here in beautiful Duluth, Minnesota. And today I am going to teach you how to make one of my very favorite cocktails, a Cedar Negroni. It's a classic cocktail, gin, um, it usually has Campari and vermouth, but we have just made our own Amaro Superiore, which has some similar characteristics with citrus and bitter herbs and root and um, works beautifully in a Bikra Negroni. So I'm gonna start with a one and a half ounces of our cedar gin. It's a more spicy, not hot spicy, like aromatic spicy herbal gin with black currants and grapefruit and cardamom and sumac, it's really gorgeous. To that, we are going to add one ounce of our Amaro Superiore for that bitterness and a little bit of citrus and um, depth, flair. <laughs> and then we're also going to add one ounce of red vermouth or sweet vermouth. This is one of my favorites. Another one of my favorites is Koki Vermouth de Torino. Whatever is your favorite red vermouth you should use. So it's just those three ingredients. And then we're going to add some ice and stir. And the key with stirring, you can use whatever you have that is long and thin and easy to stir with. The key is that you're trying to dilute it with the ice getting stirred in there and you're trying to keep a really silky texture. So just stir right around the edge, creating kind of a stirring vortex rather than churning up and down. We don't want to work a bunch of air bubbles in there because we want the final cocktail to be beautiful and silky and so elegant. And we're going to stir for about 15 seconds to get it really nice and icy cold and give it enough time to dilute. Uh, dilution in a cocktail opens up the flavors and makes it less harsh, less boozy, obviously a little bit more open. As I already said, repeating myself. All right, I'm gonna add one of these beautiful, clear, big ice cubes from our friends, Minnesota Pure Clear Ice. Uh, but you can use whatever ice you have on hand as long as it's clean and fresh. And we're going to pour our cocktail right over it. One of the nice things about our Amaro Superiore is that it does not have any um, colorings added to it. All the colors that are in it are from the citrus and the herbs and the roots. Um, a lot of the Italian aperitifs have coloring added to them. As much as I love them, I do try to avoid food coloring. And then it's really nice to garnish it with a spritz of orange oil from an orange peel. I happen to have a blood orange on hand, so I'm going to use that to be a little bit extra. We're just going to squeeze this over and that is going to expel some extra citrus oils on top. Drop it in or discard it, your choice. And then you have a beautiful Beaker Negroni. Let's try it. Mm, it's absolutely wonderful. So good, so cozy, so moody. It's perfect for this chilly time of year. Skull. Cool.